We're going to take a look at some grammar. Today we're going to look at this. To be. Now, to be is, hey, we're not talking about this kind of be, shoo. We're talking about the verb, to be. Let's take a closer look at your grammar page. Here we have your grammar page. Can you see that this boy here is ooh, sick? And these guys over here, well, they are excited. That's because we use the verb to be when we want to talk about feelings. So, let's practice together. I am happy. You are happy, I hope. He is, look, he is all sick. She is, she is excited. It is, we use it when we want to talk about objects or animals. So, I can say, my dog is sad. It is sad. What about we are? You and me, we are happy. And they are, these two people here, they are excited. Let's take a look at the next part. Here we have the words to be. But look, here we have the word no. Now, when we want to talk about what we don't feel, we need to use this word. Not. Look, you can see it here. I'm not. I am not tired. What about you? You aren't tired. But hang on a minute. Can you see this? There's a funny little line here. Well, that's because this word, not, is the same. Not is the same as this. N apostrophe T. That's why we make it shorter. So we can say, you aren't tired. And it's the same as you are not tired. Okay, let's look at some more. He isn't. Well, this boy here isn't tired either. He's dancing. She isn't. She isn't sad. This girl looks happy. What about it isn't? I have a dog and it isn't tired. It is not tired. We, you and me aren't, are not tired. Like these children here. We aren't tired. And lastly we have they aren't. I can say they, talking about these children, aren't tired. Well done. Let's take a look at the next part.